And we're back to video number 11 on how to learn Inkscape and this time we're going to talk about how to reflect shapes and objects in that program. Let us once more create a spiral. I've done that in the last video and I'm going to show you how we can reflect that so that the right hand side is not from top down but from the bottom up. Let me create a second shape with the Bezier tool. I'll just create some random object here and I give it a red fill and a blue stroke and I increase the stroke to 5 millimeters. That should be fine to show the effect. Let me select the bottom spiral and then I go to path and path effects. Click on the plus button and we've got lots of objects here and in this video I'm going to talk about the mirror symmetry. So this is what we're going to use. Double click on it and you can already see we've got it reflected. If you select that shape, you can see here it is, and we can make that visible or invisible. The drop down is the most important here, and we can define where the reflection axis is. So we can reflect it vertically, horizontally, according to the x and y axis. And we've got the freely defined mirror line, which is the one that we're going to keep. So if you have selected something else, the freely defined mirror line will just resemble that. So for example, if I change that to vertical and then select the freely defined mirror tool, you can see it has the same effect. But make sure it's selected and then press N or click on the notes tool. And now we've got this mirror line that we can drag freely around. And reflection is shown in real time. We can also rotate that and, and play around with it as long as you've got freely defined mirror line selected as the mode. Here's some boxes. The most interesting is the fuse paths, and I'll show you that on the top object. So that's why I've created it. Let me select that. I'll click on a plus, double click on mirror symmetry. Make sure it's selected. Free define mirror line, then check the box. Fuse paths and activate your node tool. And you can see we can adjust the nodes. Or we can drag these objects into one another and there are fused as long as the box is checked. We can drag individual nodes across this mirror line and they will be fused. And we can even invert them so that we've got this negative space created. You can also rotate this mirror line with the fuse function activated, so no problem with that. If we deselect it, you can see it creates a negative shape where the overlap is. So let me rotate that out of the original object and you can see what this effect creates. So it makes a huge difference if that box is checked or not. Let me close this path. I'll select the spirals. I can see they are connected for now. So we'll have to go to path and break it apart. And now we can select the one on the right. Click again on it with the cursor tool and then hold control and rotate it 180 degrees. And you can see now we've got it reflected perfectly. And this is how you can reflect objects in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.